double it to the channel or what if you don't know. My name is Rafika. Today is oh, this is my door, y'all. Today is day two of being out of the hospital. Um yesterday was my first full day. It was terrible. I can tell that day two is going to we'll have some challenges. I already know it. Like me sitting up fully, I can't do it. Get somebody else to do it. But I'm going to try my best to get some stuff done. Because even though I'm suffering, I still got to push through with doing something because I got to get that, try to get the house situated a, a little bit, but I already know once my head start hurting really bad, I'm going to have to lay down because yesterday I just tried to stand up and walk around as much as possible, but if anybody, if you know and you look at videos of people with um, intracranial hypertension, you know the pain. Well, the people that's going through it know the pain. It just messes with your everyday lifestyle. Like, it just, you just go from being so normal where you can just do whatever you want, whenever you want to, as much as a car ride messes with your head like you i could not ride in a car unless i'm laying on my knees sitting on my knees and got my head in the seat i can't sit down and ride in a car like i can't even drive myself at this point not right now i know they said that after a while it'll ease up and get better i can't wait till i get to the point to where I can just function normally sometimes because right now it's just a constant all day, every day agony, pain, and I just, I'm over it. I'm tired. It's overwhelming because I was dealing with the headache for two weeks and then now I got to deal with the hypertension like all day and I can't even sit on my couch. It's either I'm laying down, I'm standing up. That's all, that's it. And I can't even stand up long because then I start feeling dizzy and lightheaded like I'm about to pass out. So I have to just lay down. So I just got to, I guess, work with my body and see what I can, how long I could just stand and what I can do while I can do it until I guess the medicine start working. I know my doctor said it takes a few months for everything to go back to normal, which sucks because it's like six months to a year before I get some type of normalcy in my life. And it's just like, oh my God, am I really doing this? Like my life just changed so much really fast. But I'm gonna try to get some stuff cleaned up in the apartment. I'm not gonna do too much. Um, try to fix up the kitchen a little bit and get the kitchen look. I mean, the living room looking a little bit normal. I will TV stand broke when my husband was moving it, but that TV stand also been through a lot, y'all. Girls, girls, calm down, okay? That TV stand also been through a lot. We only had it for four years, though. Four or five years, my husband say. I can't tell you because I can't think for real, for real. Um, I'm going to tell y'all, stress intensifies this thing that I have. If I'm stressed, it will make it worse when I have to go to the hospital. I meant to throw that in there. But anyway, so we getting rid of the TV stand. We're going to order a new TV stand. My husband said he's going to order one. This week, we ordering a new bed because I y'all know our bed keep breaking. I'll show y'all. It's in plenty of videos back when the bed done broke like four or five times already. And my husband, I had to fix it. It even broke in the apartment that we in now. Well, the apartment that we leaving now and he had to fix it. So we found a bed on Amazon that he was going to order. 
and we'll be getting that sometime. It was saying that a little bit it was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't come, and we thinking that somebody stole it or he never delivered it. But they said it was it said it's delivered, but it'll get delivered today. So I'm gonna be kind of watching out for that. But while I'm not dizzy and lightheaded and feeling like I'm about to pass out, I'm just about to clean up a little bit and just get as much done before my body like okay lay down so i'm gonna show y'all how everything looking right now which it is a hot mess it's a mess in here and it's gonna take a while because my husband got to go back to work and he just been doing so much overworking himself and i know he need a freaking break and now that i'm out of the hospital i still can't do anything but it just sucks. It's a lot going on right now. But I'm going to show y'all how the apartment's looking. Because it look a mess. Alea did try to um, uh, straighten up a little bit. But y'all know how it is. Kids' version of clean don't be adults' version of clean. But my baby tried. So let me show y'all. Okay, so this is all still here. All of that. Y'all see the TVs on the floor because we don't have a TV stand. Um, we just got a lot of stuff. We got stuff all over here. All of this over here. And in the living room, it's just all over the place. So I need a... So I just need a sweet mop. Um, I can't get the broom and stuff until they are done with it at the old house so we'll see how that go but i'll show y'all how everything looking as as far as i can go so all right y'all so we actually came to a place called ollie's i know i got all kind of stuff on my face <sighs> Gosh, my head hurts so bad. I try to get out and walk around, but my head just not having it today. So I came back to the truck. Cause it's just like pounding. No matter what I do, it's just pounding really bad. And I really just wanna cry. That's just how I feel. I just want to cry so bad. Because I just feel so bad. And I try to ride with him. And try to do something normal. But it's not happening. Something told me to stay home. And I just should have stayed home. I was just trying to see how I feel riding in the car. And it's just very uncomfortable. And my head just hurt. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow that I was going to cancel. But my mom said that she would drive me to my appointment. That appointment is at 8 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know my mom is two and a half hours from me. She told me do not cancel. She would be here to take me. Because I needed to go. And I do need to go, but I just know I can't drive myself because I cannot drive because I can't sit up or look directly at the sun. So, yeah. I'm just going to sit in the car until he come out because Dash had my head feeling like it was on 10 just then. 12, 11, 12, 13. See, this is how I've been laying in a truck. Like this. With my blanket. To try to give my head some kind of comfort. But the seats in the car just so hard. I just can't get comfortable anyway. So it's, it's been a very uncomfortable ride. So I can imagine when I go to the doctor, how uncomfortable I'm going to be. 
when my mom take me hopefully my car let my seat back all the way up now i'm just going to get in the back seat and i'm going to lay flat down i probably do that in a towel honestly i probably get in the back seat and just lay flat all the way down Yeah, let me see how that work. All right, yeah, so. I'm currently laying down in my towel. This actually feels better. Laying down just makes me feel better. Normally, I could walk a little bit. I was able to walk in at least for about five minutes before I just could not walk anymore. So, I know y'all probably just tired of me talking about it, but I just want to vlog my process, my journey, and how long stuff lasts that I can do and can't do. Cause this is just new to me. Like this is just new to my whole life. And it affects my everyday. I can't do anything. It's like a paralyzation type thing. So I just want to document my journey on this. But your girl is not feeling good today. Not today. So. I'll pull you up later. Alright y'all. So when I got home. I laid down for like 20 minutes. And then I tried to get back up. And I felt a little bit of a little bit better. I got a layer to help me like clear the trash and stuff and I try to fix the couch as much as possible. Um it ended up getting metal in her foot. My husband had to get it out. And that was something. But I decorate the well I don't really decorate but I had put out some little decor on the counter. And I got some stuff right here. I'm just trying to do a little bit at a time. I'm not really trying to do too much and overdo it. I got a dishwasher going just to see how good it works. But we got to put up this stuff to get it organized. And then me and my husband got to order a bed. I and mean, she want to wait because, huh? What boxes do you mean? That stuff on the side of the island right there. Yeah, I think a little took most of it down already. Finish getting all that stuff. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just straightening up a little bit, little by little. You know, it could be worse. I'm glad I still got my moving parts. And so it's just the headaches that need to calm down, which they do. Sometimes they feel better. Sometimes I feel worse. So it's just, it's just that gravity thing. It's crazy. I just feel like I'm in an airplane on the sky. My ears popping and my head is getting squeezed. That's how I feel all day. I ain't feeling like that right now though. I just can't bend down and over so, or drive. Cause when I drive or in a car, oh my gosh, I have to lay down, baby. But I'm slowly trying to get everything situated in the house. Like I said, Leah been helping me so much. Like I am so grateful for her. So grateful for her. I'm trying to put that thing on my sink. Now I just gotta do my room. My room is a mess. 
but it's pretty much gonna be a mess but i could probably try to clean it up a little bit my mom i already told you my mom is coming to help me another thing i don't like we don't have a light in our room which is like weird it's just freak we just got the ceiling fan but no light so our room is a complete disaster so what i'm about to do is move my clothes and stuff in my closet move my husband's clothes in his closet but i'm not going to put anything up i just y'all this right here is just giving me the worst anxiety life can ever give me so i'm gonna try to straighten up in here have it looking a little bit better we're just bringing over our that one mattress we got which is our mattress topper not our mattress topper our top mattress we're not bringing a box spring because the bed that we're ordering doesn't require to have a box spring so um i think he ordered a bed in black i never i didn't have a black wooden bed before but i just wanted the bed in black because i slick want to transition my room a little bit <laughs> um that's a really good dresser on um, dresses in there the bed they said was supposed to be in a good bed but i had that bed for like five years and like six months after i had it it broke and it just been breaking ever since so that's why we getting another bed the bed just keep breaking and it's just like bro really so with a layer bed bed ain't supposed to deliver the bed they said the bed was delivered yesterday but then he emailed the people, they said, oh, it's just to say that it's delivered, but it's not. Why would they leave a very detailed message saying that bed is delivered and it's on the porch if it's not delivered? So where the hell did y'all send my kid bed to? And that's just frustrating as heck too, cause it's like, we just got that bed delivered and you telling me it's already missing? Like, what are you talking about? So it's still a mess. But a little bed is going to be here. The little girl bed is going to be over there. They got a trumble bed, so it's a pull out as well. This is the little girl's dressers. And y'all know this is the layers. This is going to be the only thing in their room. No toys, no nothing. It's just going to be beds in here. That's it. Just beds. And then this is their closet. It look the same. Of course, I got to go through it once I'm feeling a little bit better and could bend down and live for a little bit. And then this is their bathroom.